Ah, you have disgraced me for the last time, Steel Samurai. The pale moon of sky cries for your blood. The moon. No, it is you who shall gaze upon the moon. For it will be the last moon you ever see. <gasps> uh, Steel Samurai is the greatest. Second greatest. See you in hell, evil magistrates. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> The warrior swords gleam and strike in the moonlight. One has fallen, but who? Only the moon knows. Don't miss next week's exciting episode. The Dark Messenger returns. What was that surreal show you were watching? What, Nick? You mean you don't know what to steal? Know what to steal, Samurai? I am old. He's one of the most popular TV hero for young people in Japan. Young? Like how young? Um, ten years old. Then what the heck are you doing getting all excited? Hey, I'm only 17. That's 17, see? I'm a teen, not like you, Nick. Hey, don't talk to me like I'm your grandpa or something. I'm only 24 myself. Wish we had some clients. Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> Hello? This is Phoenix. <laughs> Nick! Maya? What? It's still early. <laughs> it's the Seal Samurai! The Seal Samurai is gonna arrest it! Huh? You mean the guy in the show? Yes! They're saying that the Steel Samurai killed a villain! Isn't that what he's supposed to do? Yeah, on TV! Yeah, on TV. No! I mean, he actually did it! In real life! He skewed a villain with his samurai spear! Just come to the office, quick! Please, Nick! Now for the morning news! The actor Will Powers was arrested yesterday. Powers played the lead role in the popular kids show The Steel Samurai, Warrior of New Old Tokyo. He was arrested on suspicion of murder. The victim was Jack Hammer, who plays the villain known as the Evil Magistrate. His body was found still inside the Evil Magistrate's costume. The samurai spear was also found stuck through the body. Police believe this was the murder weapon, and are investigating further. Yes, right in cold offices. She uses her cell phone for this? Apparently. <laughs> it's the seal samurai. W what? Yes. Yes, of course. It will be right there. Oh, we got a big client. What's wrong, Maya? It's him, in the flesh. Um, is that guy really him? Will Powers, our client. That's him. Wait, he's already our client? Uh, you already decided that. Okay. Good, good of you, Phoenix. Um, maybe I shouldn't be saying this, but he definitely did it. Murder! At least once. Maybe twice. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you saying? Um, uh, something wrong? Uh, no, no! This is getting off to a great start. I know, I know. You're disappointed, aren't you? It's disappointed? Oh no, oh no. No, it's okay. This is the real me. When I got the part of the Steel Samurai with that mask, I decided I would never show my face in public until the job was over. It's the kids, you know. They didn't want to wreck their dreams. So much for dreams. I wonder what they think of the Steel Samurai now. <laughs> Nick? What? He's a good guy. I mean, he's good. He didn't do it. Maybe you could start by telling us what happened. <laughs> the cast had come down to Global Studios for a run-through, and we went through a few action sequences at 10 that morning. <laughs> there was a rehearsal scheduled for 5 in the afternoon, but when 5 came around, the staff gathered at the studio, and the evil magistrate was found lying in a crumpled heap near the, near the set. Damn. Ugh. He took off his mask, and discovered that it was Jack Hammer, dead. He had been expertly skewed with that samurai spear. The samurai spear. Yes, it's a long spear that I, uh, that the Steel Samurai, uses as a weapon. Now, where were you on the day of the murder? Well, that morning I came to the, to the studios at 9. We worked through some of the action scenes until noon. Rehearsal was uh, was to begin at 5, but I was a little tired. So after lunch, I took a nap in my dressing room. I woke up, it was 5. I was late for the rehearsal. I heard to the studio, found everyone looking shocked. They arrested me in the spot and brought me here. What will the kids think? <laughs> I think I should probably check out the scene of the murder. Right, Global Studios. I'll draw you a map. Wow! So this is where they make the Steel Samurai show. Awesome! Aren't you excited? Hey! You there! You want in! You gotta go through me! Oh, uh, sorry. We, um, lawyers. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great! I'm security! 
And it's my job to make sure these gawkers like you stay out. Use today. Something horrible happens and now you can think of a sightseeing. Wasting your time in a place like this. That's your best job you should be doing. Well, do lawyers not work? Like <laughs> oh my god, I forgot to like this. Sounds like a life of ease to me. No work, just living around all day as you please. Well, when I was oh young, my god, so I much. Around in strange heavy clothes. What are you coming to these days? My own son hasn't called in. Um, Nick? Would I grow up to be like that? Like her? Please say no. I don't know. It's possible. Hey! Listen when you're being spoken to! Use today! So... What do you do here at the studios? Hey, <laughs> Global Studios! Bring your children's dreams come true! This place has really gone downhill, you know? But ten years ago... Now that was a studio of dreams! Him was a big star back then too, he was! The victim, dummy! The evil magistrate! He's been reduced to playing villains now! Not exactly the best material to work with! Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid! But don't be fooled by his mask! You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without it! Believe me, that's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance! No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jackhammer! We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty! Powers? Of course he's guilty! How do I know? I know everything! That's my job! Alright, what kind of person was Jack Hammer? Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero! He was simply dashing in that Dynamite Samurai series! Why does it mean Samurai series? This is Japan! <laughs> but! There was an incident during filming! Five years ago! He got an unlucky break after that! Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program! What's more, I heard they were paying him peanuts! It's enough to make you cry! Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday, I was. I was here from one in the afternoon to five, when they found the body. Only one person went by here between one and two thirty, when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Powers' request. Huh. I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request, and maybe I'll just let you in. Uh, hello, uh, how was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? No, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Yeah, uh, totally. Right. Not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? Uh, what? No, I never do that. Earlier, you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch, but the security lady says she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. Uh, what? That's not possible! I... I really don't know what to say! I was sleeping! I promise! Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I'm new to this lawyer business and I need every advantage I can get. Don't say that to your oh, client who's wanted no. for murder! But, but I swear to you, my mama's grave, I was sleeping! Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me? What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio... Oh, the security lady. Yeah, that bitch. She's terrible! She called me suspicious looking! You are suspicious looking. Yes, actually, she has said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, where well, worse, I believe. She sucks up to all the big wigs at the studio. Do you think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of course. Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm. Yes, yes, I recognize that bold, childish scrawl. Anyway, you may pass. Hey, hey, Nick! Huh? There were maps in the security guard station! Wait, 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 sure. wait, 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 did you just- Hey, not bad! You <laughs> snuck in there and stole! Those are 50 cents a piece, thank you! Well, time to go, Nick! 50 cents! Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? Huh? It's not confused- it's not confused detective! Hey, pal! You know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset, and it's all your fault! I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily out the window! Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Ugh. Maya! So how's your investigation going, detective? Well, it's, uh... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal! Maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions? Right. So, detective, mind if I take a look at what you've got? At uh, what I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. And don't let Edgeworth make another one tomorrow morning. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. 2.30 p.m. Pierced through the chest by a spear. Damn. So why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over here in the Studio One. Now, the victim ends at Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other than the victim in the studio. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30. And that person was none other than Will Powers. 
If you think I'm lying, ask the security lady at the main gate. Nick, that's true. Anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady? What a charmer. <laughs> when I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. <laughs> she even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? What kind of evidence? <laughs> well, that uh, photo. A photo of the steel samurai hidden towards the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? I see the camera on that gate, pal. Whenever someone walks by, that camera walks mad, he snaps a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, here's evidence! You're finished! Funny. For someone with hard proof, he doesn't look too happy. Um, you'd like to ask the employees here some questions? <laughs> sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, uh, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. <laughs> Nick, let's go! We've got a free pass to the place. Now is our chance to check things out! The studio mascot. Right to Studio 1, left to Studio 2. What's up with that thing? It looks kinda busted. Oh, the wind was pretty strong yesterday, and the head broke off. It took that tree down with it, too. Why didn't you tell us about the security photo, ma'am? Huh? Oh, that! I just thought it would be more thrilling to talk with the detective himself! These things are important, you know! It's my job to check the photos every day, you see! About the security camera. Oh yes, the camera! It's automatic! It can tell when someone walks through the gate, see? Then it snaps a photo. Apparently, it records the time when it takes the picture to. But I don't bother myself with those details. I just view all the photos on the computer over in the security guard station. I check them every day before going home, I do. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Hey, no touching. Nick, this is where they do all that behind the scene, <laughs> behind the scene stuff. Hey, look, there's Bob's dressing room. Let's take a look around. I get to slide, so we. The metal grate on the drain here has been taken off. That's a pretty big drain. A kid could fit in through there, I bet. Remains of yesterday's lunch are scattered around. Everyone was probably too shocked to clean up. There's a T-bone on one of the plates minus the steak. Hmm. Hmm. T-bone steak. I would never have hit the spot. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a second stomach just for steaks. Power's dressing room. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. Well, that's not suspicious down here. Hmm, this must be Powers' bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. That must be Powers. Let's steal it. It says Studio One. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? A white tape. It's so... so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here, and the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was the samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Hey, you! No touching that! Ah, uh, um, sorry. My partner is kind of... you know. You know? No, I don't know. Um, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff. Moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. Could you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes! I was in the studio the whole day! I was the only assistant on the staff that day, you see? Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday was only rehearsal for our action sequences. Oh, I see. In the morning, we went through the action sequences in the employee area. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No! I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, is this private? What kind of girl do you think I am? What, what, what kind? No, no! I'm sure you're a fine girl. Uh, sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. <laughs> Actually, there's been something bothering me. That's what I'm talking about! A clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that, but that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? <laughs> yes! Several times! Some... oh, some other studio employees, maybe. No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from... outside. R really but wait, if someone had come in come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. 
I'm sorry I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1 p.m., right? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30. Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be! But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you better tell me and tell me quick. You spiky haired cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just talking to the assistant in Studio One. Her! She's not even a full-time employee! All you young and like that nowadays, running your mouth like there was no tomorrow saying this, that, and the other thing. Well, when I was young, let me tell you, we knew a thing or two about respecting your elders. Back then we did, it was a crying shame that you used to just say what you please about poor ladies. Ah! She left. Well, Nick, this is our chance to do what we can. We can without her looking over our shoulders. Yay, let's Yay. go rob her computer. The computer that runs the studio security cameras. Maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this machine. With this computer, I mean. Yeah, maybe. Hey, it printed out the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Huh. Huh. How is this a picture of Will Powers? Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm, something's printed on the back. Huh? October 15th, 2 p.m. Photo number two. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. No, nope, that's the only one in the computer. October 18, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Oh yeah, Edgeworth. Hi, buddy. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court at 2.30 p.m. on October 15, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence pr present presented through the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call a most familiar face. Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. And I'm gonna cut his pay today as well. <laughs> Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. Uh, to understand this case, it's important to grasp the layer of the studio, see? This is the employee area. If the actors did a run-through of the action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works in the studios was here at 1pm on that day. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. And now on the day of the murder, October 15, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, and the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the pro production assistant. All the production staff were in the employer until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, I'll jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m. The production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. The time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Yeah, I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear. The mere fact that a prop has lethal capabilities is kind of disturbing. Oh yeah. A prop would not have that. How medieval. This case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Let's call the security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Oh no! <sighs> oh no! I forgot the eyes! <sighs> I didn't, and I am not happy. Hmm? My! Aren't you a handsome fellow? Oh god. I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered! Oh god! <laughs> Your name, please! Oh, dearie, no need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Oh, my God. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witness to say their names. Wendy Oldback, dearie. <sighs> <laughs> I'm not trying. We got to have a chess club. What, 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 what was going on there? Uh, objection. I objection. This witness is talking to this. Uh, objection sustained. 
The waiters will refrain from rambling on the sand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. I don't even remember what her voice was. <laughs> I know it was death. Uh, perhaps we can get to the testimony. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1 p.m. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from then until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30 p.m., correct? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2 p.m. It was Powers. That man right there, and he was heading towards the studio. Okay, so it was Powers, except it wasn't because this. Yeah, it's a picture of a samurai, the samurai, not Powers. Let me get this straight, old bag, er, uh, Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about a man in the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. Just get my glasses here. There we go. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Did your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, no, they can't! <laughs> Um, well, I, I mean, I won. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. I, I, can I just say, I love how Edgeworth's facade breaks because Old Bag is present. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. <laughs> I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that, Miss, uh, uh, witness. However, you do not have proof that the person this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? Please make known all information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Let's hear about your proof, then. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Claire's day! That's how I knew it was Powers! Happy? She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Like a pig. I don't know if I want her to squeal. Like a little piggy. What'd he break? He broke a prop. Sure did! His own samurai spear! His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it! This strikes me as a significant detail. I'd better write this down in the court record. Who was present at the run-through? Well, let's see. There was Powers. He's a steel samurai. Then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate. And me. And what exactly were you doing? I was fangirling, your honor. I mean, observing. Just observing. I see. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. I think we've heard enough, haven't we, your honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Where is this seal samurai costume now? Um, huh. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Anyway, that's not important. And it is clear that the person in the seal samurai suit was Mr. Will Powers. Was it? Hmm, I suppose that could be correct. Are you sure? Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? OBJECT! Hold it right there! We keep talking possibilities. But we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught a camera could have killed Mr. Ham. You have to consider that possibility also. What happened to this judge later on? He, this guy seems almost competent. Then allow me to remove that doubt from your mind. Huh? Will the witness continue her testimony, please? The time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m., true? The only person I saw go through the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. But someone else did go there. Yeah. Because... Photo number two. Yeah. Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. Also, couldn't you just go around the arch? Yeah, like, that shouldn't be that much of a problem looking at it. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ah, 
Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2 p.m., photo number two. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number two. The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number one if it really was the only photo? Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Rice. I thought you were more competent. Why do you need me to explain what photo number two means when there's only one thing of data? No. Yeah. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows out not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only one data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. The security lady herself. Ah! <laughs> you watch your mouth, you whippersnapper! <laughs> The only person I saw that day was Will Powers! But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Um, uh, well, yes. That's what it would seem to mean. Can't do what this explained is to the courts? Um, <clears throat> I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Oh, edgy boy, uh, help! Oh, I forgot he's married. <laughs> I forgot about that, too. Huh? <laughs> Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. <laughs> Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Something the matter, Miss Solberg. Ah, that's right. Hey, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gates. Someone ordered him to steal a samurai. Oh, uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. I see. Your testimony, please. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. Still semi-fanboys. Real freaks, if you ask me. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. Wait, wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside and well, that's where they come in. Like the rats they are. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. K kids? So, on the photo that you erased... It was a boy. Probably second or third grade. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studio that day. One was a steel samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Oh, yes. Well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him! I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for young boys to be the samurai spear. Impossible lights, I think. It's quite heavy. Right! As I said, I didn't pay him much mind. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecutors to consider this new information. Mr. Powers. Uh, yes? Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studios. I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest! So who wants to steal Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The steel Samurai costume was off the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take a better care of that stuff. I wouldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a sa steel Samurai costume. You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! What are, you going to, what are we going to do? We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. And it'll take, some so take them so long to shoot us down that we can get it on a day. Hey, Nick, it's time. Oh, court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Ashworth, will you present the prosecution's fault in this matter? Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studios was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there is still no one else that could have committed the cr this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. 
But who is it? Order! Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Whoa! The Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about the morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, Old Bag. What? what? Uh, Ripper Snapper! Order, order! Miss Old Bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the Steel Samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. But why would she go for the shop of the Steel Samurai costume? She knew the camera at the gate would take her picture. Again, just walk around. Yeah, like just scoot around. It's not that hard. If she was in costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deducted reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the pot where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump on with an objection to some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. Oh, so you all think I did it, is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there and do something! The very same reasoning that n makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Miss Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? I don't know. Not my motive. <laughs> you forgot that Mr. Powers lacks a clear motive, too. Hmm, indeed. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went th to the studio? That boy! The one whose photo I erased! He's ten. He's only a great school of two, she said. Second or third grade lessons? Th th that doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds tops! Wait, wait, what? Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy's not the killer. I have proof. P proof Indeed. Then let's see this proof, Mr. Wright. Your Honor, the murder weapon was the samurai spear. The spe very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. The windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings of the current trial for today. Well, wait a second. I'm not going to just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me. I'm talking. Ah, shit, she's talking. Oh, oh great. Stop the presses. This, the windbag wants to talk. This old bag, what is this all about? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. That not to talk about? By whom? Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studio on the day of the murder. Oh, right. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. Oh, sh right. But if you're going to go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free. Oh, no. This is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? They told me to shut my trap and I was do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Who are these people? Or were they? Whatever. Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have done a run-through of their action scene without a director? Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these people? The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. Oh. He joined the producer around lunchtime and they had a meeting after that. Oh, that's important. Oh, I thought it was the other way around because of the two characters. Well. Oh, in Studio 2 trailer! There was a Studio 2? Yeah, the map. Well, if you look at the guide map... It's pretty obvious. Here it is! Like, it's pretty yeah. obvious. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was falling over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue your cross examination? No, I don't think we need to. We have learned there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer and uh, some bigwigs were all present. Yet, yeah, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that as impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Olbeck, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. Stand, Your Honor. This ends today's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. This is Studio 2? I thought so. 
It doesn't really look much like a studio, does it? No, that it does not. Hey, there's a trailer over there. It looks pretty sturdy for a movie set trailer. Are you sure this is a studio? I well, guess we'll just start examining. There's some flowers here. Wow, so pretty. They're taking good care of these. Don't get too close. That fence looks dangerous. Yeah. And bent. Yeah, very dangerous. Nick, let's go inside. It's locked. Aw, shucks. A light van for moving staff and equipment around. They've kept it in pretty good shape. Looks like it'd run fine. An incinerator. Apparently they just put this one in. It's already covered in soot. They must not clean it much. Looks like two people ate here. There's nothing left on the plates. Hey, so they ate T-bone steaks too. What is it with steaks around here? Hey, there's always room for steak. But something does seem out of place. I, I don't know. It just feels odd. Look, it's that assistant girl. Hey. Hi. WP's lawyers, right? I heard about the trial. Great job, guys. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. don't mention it. Is it true they caught the security lady? Oh. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Actually, she just called me. She told me to cover up that drain. You mean that one? Wow, what a mess. I'm not so good with handiwork. Some assistant, right? Yeah, but you do work on the props and the backdrops, right? R right. Just, lots of times they end up looking worse than they did before I fixed them. Um, if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the guard station. I'm supposed to fill in for Miss Oldbag. Yeah. Right, see you later then. Good luck with your investigation. So the fanboy they were talking about in the trial today, he came in through that drain? So it seems. I guess they covered it up in a hurry. No duh. Hey, hey, hey Nick! If that train's covered, the boy won't be able to get in. Uh, yeah. I think that's the point. I feel kind of sorry for him, though, don't you? What, you want to rip the grate off? Really, Nick? We can? Whoa, she's serious? Uh-oh. Fine. Well, I guess some things are just made to be broken. Yay! Ooh, you know, Nick, work. you're pretty swell sometimes. Yeah! Yeah, that should make their kids happy. The things we do. What's inside the, the, oh, the dressing room? This is where the Steel Samurai costume was on the day of the murder. That's what Mr. Power says, at least. I guess they snuck in and took it while he was sleeping. But Nick, what if Mr. Powers hadn't been sleeping? I wonder what the killer was planning on doing then. Huh. She's got a point. Hmm. Yeah, nothing's different in here, so... I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. I guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. But they were trying to protect the director. More the producer, really. The producer's a real star here. She saved these studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? WTF! Who are you dudes, Lamau? Huh? <laughs> we, uh... Wait, you first. Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Yeah, he looks pretty suspicious. Whatever, Lemus! How can you not know the great Salmonella? And I hate his name even more. <laughs> I make the lead shows and the steel samurai mine! I to see I just see it. <laughs> TFC. <laughs> really? You are the Salmonella? I'm so sorry. Just you look so sorry. Oh no. Quite alright, really. It's fine. Ruffle ruffle. You know, on close inspection. Inspection. Yeah, hot, 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 hot. <laughs> hey, do you do a lot of cosplay? Because that costume rocks us. Rocks <laughs> us? Uh. <laughs> wait, 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 you're drooling. Uh, lol, uh, buffer, overrun. Oh my god. I hate this guy so much. You're talking about creative powers. Y yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to the Steel Samurai. Pink Princess for your little old Tokyo. Actually, later on, legit becomes a show. Yes, it does. <laughs> Ruffle him out. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who you do, sir. That security lady told you about us, eh? That's right. Oh, it was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. Then a meeting from lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. Sad face. T-Bone's steak, was it? Yeah, sucks I hate missing out on food. Nick, what does suck sauce mean? Don't worry about it. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four with the producer and some big wigs from the network. 
about the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean D. Vasquez? She's a genius. Max skills all the way. Scary though. <laughs> she brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. Who exactly are these bigwigs people keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors, also a few production guys. Were all of them with you the entire time? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. They're all gray-haired geezers, ugh. Hmm, sounds like they'd all be reliable witnesses. This place is deserted. <laughs> Nick! What, what was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Huh, it's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No. But there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it! Aha! You again! Eh? How rude! Acting like you've seen a ghost! You certainly got back to your post quickly. Oh, the police took me away, they did! They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume! Told me to put it on! Can you imagine? How could I, a sweet little old lady, wear a giant suit like that? As soon as they saw there was no way I could wear it, they let me go. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking it up with someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Mm. This lady's too much. <laughs> uh, about the kid you said you saw. If I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. Uh, how about the director, the one who was here on the day of the murder? If I see him again, I'm taking him down! Hey! Hey, wait! I'll bet he came in right through the drain. Hey, I'm kid -yo. Uh, what's your name, Sports? I'm Cody. Cody Hackens. Call me kid -o again, I'll cut you down where you stand, evildoer! <sighs> Say, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? Heh. <laughs> Yeah, always. The seal samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But no way I'm telling you losers. He's gone. Something fell off the table when he bumped into into it on his way out. A uh, bottle. Thieving pills. Hey! St stop! Whipper stopper! Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Notch! <laughs> oh, 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 she tripped. Now's her chance. Let's check out the guard station. This is it, Nick. The trailer key. The key to that trailer in Studio 2. We'll be borrowing this, right, Nick? Sure. I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. Wait, we have the singing samurai, samurai sama, and the di dynamite samurai. What? Ah, yes. D. Vasquez. A badass. Hey! Someone's in here. Names. Uh, our names? Uh, um, we are WP's lawyers, and, um... I see. And uh, who might you? D. Vasquez, the producer. D. Vasquez? She's quite beautiful. I can see it. Oh, that's Phoenix's type. Women that will fucking kill him. <laughs> that actually explains a lot. Of I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Miss Vasquez? Script. Uh, excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A, a sc script? The Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. I need to read it. If you see Manila, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? Just, just accept it, Maya. I don't think I like her. <laughs> don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness and then eat you. Alright, we'll give it to him if we see him. Here. I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13? So 13, where did I put that one? Why are you in his dressing room? That's a very good question. Uh, I must have lived somewhere. <laughs> uh oh. My ass is pwned if I don't find it! <laughs> it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Take a look around the chair for me, would you? I'm too lazy to do it. Remember the script the director was talking about? Like, one minute ago? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? <laughs> Found it, Nick! The script! Good work. Why does it look so disgusting? Uh, you know why. Here, have a script. Here, we found it. Your script. Ah! Script handed to her. Um, uh... You're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes. 
with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now, listen closely. None of these people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? The monkey with the broken head. Oh, right. That. What an original name. Oh, wow. This does not look like that from the other angle. It does not. Its head fell over in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path cleared. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One. <laughs> what? A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd collaborate my story. What if the head fell over after 2.30? Then you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30, the time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in ooks. One ook per hour. Ook, 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 ook. Always with the ooking. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. That's right. This path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Therefore, we're innocent. See? Goodbye. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Anna. It's over. We finished. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's at alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? You've got one lead. Our Deus Ex Mia has arrived! Yep. <laughs> what took you so long? Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. She should work on that. Right. Oh wait, I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. I don't know, he didn't sound like he was going to help us at all, and how do you know about that, Mia? I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. <sighs> I... I got a hostage now, whippersnapper! A hostage? Um, what happened to the boy? <sighs> if I... If I see him again, I'll... <sighs> Lie him flat! Uh, before I go, I'd like to visit the place where the poor Hammer died. Right. She was saying she wanted to visit the studio where he died. Phoenix, that hostage might be what we need. Cody might talk to us if we gave him that. Good idea. Miss Oldbag, might I- No! I'm catching that brat if it's the last thing I do! <sighs> That's a card! Studio One! You'll let me borrow. Borrow it then. Sure. Here you go, Miss Oldbag. I don't like having debts to no whippersnappers. You take this and we're even. Deal? No, oh, what's this? A Steel Samurai trading card? Right, I'm off. There she goes, hobbling off towards the studio. Hey! Hey, you! W wait a second! Phoenix? Was that the boy? Yes. Yeah, his name's Cody Hackens. I think he ran into the dressing room. Oh no, Sal Manella's there! Run, Cody! Oh, oh no, you don't <laughs> want to be the same room as him! Found you! Damn it! He's getting away! I'm back! Yeah, he's back. <laughs> really? Was that easy? How did she... A lot of kids would listen to me, <laughs> so... Yeah, pro probably. Yeah. Hey there, would you mind helping us out? Please? I'm Cody. Hello, Cody. I'm Mia. Mia Fey. Nice to meet you. Yo! <laughs> oh, he's seven! seven. <laughs> <laughs> he's even younger than I thought. I thought he was ten. No, apparently seven. Damn. Yeah. D's 34. Salmonella's, oh god, why do I have this picture? The Steel Samurai is so cool. I think he's the, um, the bomb. Oh, no, Phoenix. Stop oh, that. Oh, no. <laughs> you are so underqualified for this. Heh, why would a lame like you know about the Steel Samurai? Can we get Maya back? <laughs> hey! Watch the attitude. Phoenix, you really shouldn't yell like that. He's only a kid. Yeah, don't yell like that, I'm only a kid. Can't I just bribe him yet? Cody, this looks familiar. Hey, my you are! You are? Huh? You are, you know, ultra rare. The, the cards really hard to get. Ooh, sounds expensive. I think I'll sell it. Man, for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. I'll give you this, if you help me. But that's my card. 
By offering me something I already owned, you're in effect is skewing the very basis of our consumer society, namely the principle of fair trade. Wait, you're what? something! <laughs> and for a grown-up, you sure are dumb. But what do they teach these kids in school these days? Quantum physics? Whatever, I don't need that cat. I got a double. Just keep it. It's yours. What? After I went through all that trouble? If you want to trade, find me a really rare card. Ultra rare premium cards! Where are the plain ultra rare cards? Come on! Man, for a grown up, you sure are dumb. Oh, hi! Um. Yes? The, um, girl with you. Doesn't she seem a little different? Like, is she even the same person as before? Um, nope. She's the same as always. Same as always. Okay. Whatever you say. Are all the posters on the wall here of hammers? Yes. It's really a terrible loss for the studios. But his popularity had been waning recently, right? That's true. Then again, after what happened... After what happened? Y y you mean you don't know about Hammer? No, what? I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Wait, now you have to tell me what happened with Hammer. I I'm sorry. I'm probably not the one who should tell you. Hey, that's a Steel Samurai trading card! I collect those, actually. I'm one card away from a complete set. A complete set? Yeah, a set of one of each card. Huh. Wait. Wait, 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 wait! That's it! That's the card I need! You don't know how long I've been looking for it! Uh... I don't care what kind of girl you might think I am. I need that card! <laughs> please! <laughs> I beg you! Please trade with me! T trade with you? Yes! Trade cards! Look, let me trade you an ultra rare premium card! Trade me... Trade me a... Huh? Yes, it's a good deal for your ultra rare! Just take it! Take it, take it, take it! Please! Phoenix, can't you see she's desperate? What's everything he's so excited about? You know what? Screw it. I will trade it. I don't care. Okay. Really? Th thanks. Then this is for you. <laughs> you are being caught added to it. Very okay. valuable. All right, I can make even more money off of it. Yahoo! And there she goes. Doesn't doing good things like that make you feel great? Yeah. Yeah, it does. I'm so confused. See this card? Look at it. It's so pretty. Yes. Wait. That's it. That's the last ultra rare premium card I need. But this is convenient. Come on, give it to me. Please. You gotta give it to me. How about a trade? I don't want cards. I want information. Huh? You sure? Fine by me. <laughs> you are being given to Cody. Okay, Phoenix. Let's hear what he has to say. So, you like the Steel Samurai? Yeah. What's that? The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Check this out! It's my fan album! It's all pictures of the Steel Samurai... Samurai Scrapbook. I always take a picture with the Steel Samurai lands the final blow! With Sam! I got them all! I never missed one! A perfect collection! Check it out! My new digital... My new digital ta camera! My album has a name! Wanna hear it? The Steel Samurai! Path to Glory! The Steel Samurai always wins! Always! Hey, if you want this, you can have it, lady! Really? Are you so sh are you sure? Yeah, I took the those with a digital camera. I got all the data at home, so I can always make another one. Well, then I'm happy to accept. Thank you. What's with people always giving stuff to Mia? What a life. Have you seen her? We've all seen her. It's, she's magnificent. You were here on the day of the incident, right? Yeah. Did you see anything unusual? Cody, he needs to know because he's fighting for justice. Isn't that the Steel Samurai's motto? For great justice? You have to help us fight for great justice, too. I- I saw... I saw everything! Well, well. We might get some useful information out of him yet. Cody, I need to ask you something very important. What did you see on the day of the incident? I got here the day around two. I had to come in through the woods out the back so the old lady wouldn't see me. I got kinda lost, though. I was there for maybe a half hour or so. I finally got to the studio. After that... What is it, Cody? The steal Sam where I killed the bad guy! He used his samurai spear, just like always. One shot, one kill. It happened so fast. I got scared. I went home after that. You put that this boy on the witness stand. Your client will be guilty for sure. Let's not call him then. Not so fast, pal. This boy here is a key witness. And he's on the police protection starting now. Have you called his parents yet? Come on, son. You've got a rendezvous with, with me down in the precinct. Have you called his parents yet? <laughs> No! I ain't going! Well, That didn't go so well. 
and now we have a serious handicap in court. Don't worry, Phoenix. I'm sure you'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa! C come to the trial tomorrow, please! I need you there. Do you really believe that Mr. Powers is innocent? Of course he is! That's all I wanted to hear. See you soon. Phoenix, your client is now practically a dead man walking. You know we are going into this trial utterly defenseless. Eh. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? We have to find something, Phoenix. Today. This isn't going to be easy. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Yesterday we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Manella to the stand. Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me! I'm the director! I make the steel samurai noob ruffle! Uh, Sal Manella, I am a director. Television. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. I was at the studios from around 9 that morning. Uh, during the morning I was doing a, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. But I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4. And during the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. But he didn't skip lunch. Had a meeting at 2 in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. You did not. So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? Th that must have been tough. Mr. Manella. Um, what do you want? <laughs> oh my god. When I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates. The same kind of place as the ones in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> uh, no, uh, I, um, uh, 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 good, good call. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, embarrassed, so, so I didn't mention it. But I didn't eat after all. Uh, a a T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. <laughs> so what exactly did you eat at? Uh, we took one break during the meet that meeting. Uh, I went to down it. <laughs> you didn't take a single break. Yeah, not a one. <laughs> Wait a second, Mr. Manella. You just contradicted yourself. Did you just tell the court that you ate the T-bone steak during a break? Oops, Ruffle! <laughs> well? Um, uh, Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I guess we just take a little break. Phoenix, great job. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. Yeah, for Bill, he took a break, Ruffle. It was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in base 12! Not enough time for someone to say, commit murder in Studio One, lil well. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. <laughs> what time exactly did you take this break? Um, uh, I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so, so until 2.45. That's the time of death. Ugh, this guy. Why is that? Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. Ah. Uh, it was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Haha! <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin eyes again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manila from the stand. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, even the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is the decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Oh no. And my witness saw the very moment when the Seal Samurai skewed the vi victim. Oh no! The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a great schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with his cruel questioning. Hey! 
I will cause normal, necessary trauma. Don't you worry. However, we have no choice. The prosecution calls Cody Hackins to the stand. <laughs> in the box. Uh, Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on? What is this, bikini all over again? Uh, oh, all right. I'm not just having children here. Uh, God, please bring him a box. Uh, one of those donut crates should do. You have a donut crate in here? Can I have some? Well, yes, I have to feed my god somehow. <laughs> that would be a lobster crate. Uh, will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness. What? What you do? You're just a grown-up who don't mean you can push me around. <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the knife lady. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. Witness? Uh, I mean, Cody. You were present uh, you were at Global Studios on the day of the uh, incident. You got a problem with that? I feel I'm a sword. Please tell us that you what you saw that day. Photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he couldn't bring it. I'd like to I'd like express my mission if that's possible. Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet, but I bring it with me wherever I go. I want to see a steel samurai to rehearsal, just once. I found a map on the internet and went to the studios that day. I went through the woods so off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I'm kind of lost in the way though, uh, for about 30 minutes. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai! It totally rocked! Right before my eyes, I'll keep the bad guy! Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down! Pow! If I had my camera with me, I would have been the, it would have been the time for a shot, I tell you! Why didn't you have the camera that you always carry with you? Anyway, I couldn't get into the studio, so I went home. If you had your camera. You mean, you weren't carrying your camera then? No, I wasn't! It felt like I have it all the time! Really? Hmm, I guess seeing the killing freaked him out and he went home. Alright, um, so let's present his camera then. Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. Huh? Oh my god, I love the face. <laughs> that, that, that face. Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You you understand that, right? I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? Oh, Cody, don't cry. Mr. Wright, how cruel you are to terrorize the poor child so. He deserves it. He terrorized an old lady that also deserved it. <laughs> I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. Yeah, so I had my camera. So what? You got a problem with that? No, actually, I don't. So you did have a camera. And did you use this camera? Why would I use it? I, I was too busy watching. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were busy, so busy watching. Y yeah, I had my camera with me, but I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off it. The steel samurai, he goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then the bad guy guy stopped moving. He's so strong. The steel samurai rules. So the bad guy stopped moving. The bad guy stopped moving? Why? Uh, what do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the steel samurai brought him to justice. With a samurai kick and a samurai punch. Samurai chop! Samurai slap! Something like that. Samurai slap? How should I play this? Press him harder! Tell me what you know, brat! And Mia will give you a kiss on the cheek. Cody, something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Yeah? So what? Yet you missed the most important part. What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? <laughs> My point is this. Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight, but you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? The witness stated that he recently received this camera. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. Why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. <laughs> What's your problem, Pops? You gonna think for picking on little kids? Yeah, picking on kids is fun! Good job, Phoenix. Cody, there was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Your Honor. The defense would like to request that Cody Hackins testify once more. Very well. Cody, would you please tell us about your camera? 
And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Oh, poor Brad. Oh, he's like, oh, no photo? No pictures? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're right, Pops. This little samurai just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. Yeah, that's not all that happened. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? Yes. I mean, I'm not sure. That is not all that happened, kid. You're too obvious of a yep. liar. That's all? Yeah, I told you. I, I didn't take a picture. Hmm. I would have, once I got the lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Not even one. No. Press him. <laughs> Bully him. Listen up, Cody Hackins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> Kids are the greatest. Yep. I see through all your lies, Cody Hackins. It's one of my powers. Wow! <laughs> this feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. It was too late, so I erased them. Cody. What? what? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow it with something bad. You're grounded, Cody. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Oh, uh, 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 right. Did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Eh? Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I, I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? No, wait, no way. I think we finally discovered the truth. And what the truth it is. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what it's going to on here. Why was there no picture in the album from the day of the murder? Why would the boy have erased the photos he took? The Steel Samurai didn't win. That's why Cody deleted those photos. You mean the Steel Samurai lost? Tell the truth. The bad guy defeated the Steel Samurai. <laughs> no way! No! It's impossible! The, the, the Steel Samurai never loses! He never loses anyone! Ever! Your Honor, the witness has revealed everything with his words. There was a reason why he lied and told us he didn't take a picture. The same reason he erased his precious photos. For Cody, it was inconceivable that the Steel Samurai could be defeated. However, Cody witnessed the impossible. He saw the Steel Samurai lose. Yet, to admit what he saw would destroy everything he believed in. That's why he lied and said the Steel Samurai won. He couldn't handle the truth. Witness? I mean, I mean, Cody. I is this true? What did you see? To tell the court what you saw. <laughs> That day, you saw the Steel Samurai lose a fight, right? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> You're right. The Steel Samurai fell down, <laughs> and then he didn't move. <laughs> what kind of stunt are you trying to pull, right? The Steel Samurai was the murderer, not the victim. Yet, according to your witness's testimony, the Steel Samurai was the one who fell. Mr. Wright, what's going on? I have no idea. Apparently, we have all made a serious error. At the end of the fight, the Steel Samurai fell to the ground and lay still. In other words, the Steel Samurai was not the killer. He was the victim. Jack Hammer was the Steel Samurai. But he's dead as the evil magistrate. Order, order, order! So the Steel Samurai in this photograph? You're saying the man in this costume was that victim, Mr. Jack Hammer? That's what I'm saying, Your Honor. Hadn't Mr. Hammer gone to the studio one already? That's what everyone thought. Mr. Jack Hammer left the employee area after lunch. However, no one saw him go to Studio One, nor was there a picture of him. He waited for Mr. Powers to take a nap in his dressing room. Then he snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Why would the boys do such a thing? I don't know. I get it. I thought that the Steel Samurai was moving strange. I said it was a different person inside the suit. Pops! Actually, there was one piece of data I saved. Show us, quick. Here, yeah, this is it. That's a two up there. Yep. Well, looking at this, it's a little hard to say. I'm afraid it could be anyone in that costume. That photo is all the evidence you need to win this trial. Phoenix, show him. There's a glaring decisive inconsistency with the facts, as you know them in that photo. Uh, this thing, probably, Your Honor. Might I draw your attention to the number on the gate? 
Oh, yes, uh, well, it's hard to see, but it looks like a two. Clearly not a one, Your Honor, correct? <laughs> I believe Mr. Edgeworth sees what I'm getting at. That's impossible. This is that I might be shocked along with the rest of the court. I'll use the studio guide map. The body was found here in Studio One. However, what do we see in this photo taken at the time of the murder? It does not say one on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, here's the true scene of the crime, here at Studio Two. I see. That would explain the two on the gate in the photo. Your Honor, I find it very significant that the murder took place in Studio Two. As you may recall, there is a trailer in Studio Two. Now, on the day, a meeting was held in that very trailer. There's a break in the meeting corresponding to the time of death. During that break, Mr. Salmonella and Miss D. Vasquez were outside eating steak. They were at the scene of the crime. The path was blocked at 2.15. In other words, the victim went to Studio 2 before that time. Yes, yes, of course that would be the case. Remember, Mr. Salmonella's testimony. Allow me to remind the court. He said no one in the trailer was guilty because they could not have gone to the Studio 1. Yet, in actuality, the reverse was true. Only someone in the trailer could have committed this murder. They were the only ones with access to the scene of the crime, Studio 2. The defense makes the following claims. The scene of the crime was Studio 2. The person that the security guard, Miss Oldbag, saw was the victim, Mr. Jack Hammer. Mr. Hammer, for some reason, stole a Seal Samurai costume. Then he went to Studio 2. This is madness. No, this is Sparta! <laughs> Jack Hammer is the victim. The victim! Why would he steal a steel samurai costume? Give me proof that the victim, Jack Hammer, stole the costume. This is it. I found this on the table in the employee area. The same table with Mr. Hammer and Mr. Powers ate. The label reads, Sleeping Pills. Sleeping Pills? The defendant, Mr. Powers, spent the entire afternoon sleeping. He was drugged by Mr. Hammer. That bottle does raise some suspicions, yes. But there's no proof that Mr. Hammer used it. I want to check this bottle for fingerprints. If my claim is true, Mr. Hammer's fingerprints should show up on this bottle. <clears throat> Very well. The court will take procession of the bottle. This court will suspend proceedings of the current trial for today. Mr. Rice? Yes, Your Honor? Your homework is to find the answer to the following question. Why would Mr. Hammer steal the steel samurai costume? Also, who killed him? And why? That's a lot of homework. Could you tell me more about Miss Vasquez? Oh, the producer? She is well respected in the industry. I say she's a genius. A genius? She's been at Global Studios for five years now. <laughs> right or wrong, nobody dares to tell her different these days. Global Studios was on its knees, but she picked it up and made it shine. I was wondering about Mr. Hammer. He was a big star back in the day, right? But then he just dropped off the face of the earth. In fact, he was my role model when I started in this business. But he just stopped taking on big roles. He just gave up being a, spy, a star five years ago. That was right when Mrs. Vac Vasquez came to Global. Um, I was wondering about Dee Vasquez, the producer. Oh, the studio bigwigs love her! So she always gets her way. Do you not like the producer? Look, the studio people don't want me talking about her, so sorry. Can I ask you about Salmonella, the director? Sal, he's soft. A pushover. Does whatever Vasquez tells him to. She treats him like dirt. But I think he likes it. Oh, and I like when she's like dirt. Oh, you have not been enough on the internet. That doesn't make any sense, does it, Nick? Er, uh, no, it does not, Maya. <laughs> okay, we know what kind of thing he's into. This is where you found that bottle of sleeping pills, right? I wonder if there's any other clues lying around. Yeah! No, 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 no such- Oh, sorry, pal. Didn't mean to frighten you. So, you're looking for traces of the sleeping pills? How? Uh, for a poor examination, I gotta take the plate back to the precinct. But I have the capabilities to make a cursory examination right here. Our science guys gave me some testing solution. This reacts to these sleeping pills, see? It has traces, it'll change color. Wow, neat. Well, the testing solution of the plate changed color, all right. So the food on this plate had been laced with sleeping pills. Looks like it. How goes your investigation? To tell the truth, it's a real mess, pal. Some people think we should pursue the case we already have against Powers. And some people think we should switch, sub switch suspects. I feel kind of bad for Mr. Edgeworth, though. Why is that? How is Edgeworth doing anyway? Mr. Edgeworth is out of control. He was in the waiting room and he crushed his paper cup with hot, hot coffee in it. Wow, the fury of Edgeworth. Yeah, crushing paper cups. Say, whatever happened with the empty bottle? Oh, the bottle of steaming bills? Well, I got some good news for you about that. 
And they found the boots and jackhammer springs on the bottle. Oh, hello. What are you doing in here? Oh, I was just cleaning up the dressing room. I guess WP won't be using it anymore, so... Oh, what? Why? This week is the last episode of the Steel Samurai. I was wondering if I could ask you about Mr. Hammer. Yes. On the day of the murder, he went to Studio 2. Huh? I thought he went to Studio 1. He stole the Steel Samurai costume too! What? I guess the rumor must be true then. The, the rumor? Yeah. Miss Vasquez, the, that producer, had some kind of hold on Hammer. Oh, right. She had some dirt on him. He'd do anything she said, apparently. Oh. Some dirt? About five years ago, they were filming a st movie starring Mr. Hammer. They were using the new studio. Studio 2. Some sort of accident happened during filming. After that, they never used Studio 2 again. They left the film set the way it was, too. What do you mean, the, the last Steel Samurai? I know it's a shock, but nothing can be done to save it now. Whoever really did kill Mr. Hammer also signed the Steel Samurai's death warrant. No, no! Also, I hear that Global Studios is going to change its programming. They're not going to make kids shows anymore. What? What? Why? I don't know. It's sad, but that's what Global Studios decided. Why aren't they going to make kid shows anymore? The studio bigwigs don't want the Steel Samurai around anymore. They want to forget all this ever happened. Ah. Uh. They want it quiet. You understand. How can they just do that? What about all the kids who love the Steel Samurai? It's okay. I'm sure the kids will be fine. They find a new hero to follow. If the program just ends, they'll be heartbroken for sure. A fan collected all these photographs. The kids love the Steel Samurai. The show shouldn't be cancelled just so some adults can save face. I would think you would understand that better than anyone. You're right. Okay. But what can I do? Yeah, exactly. Well, for starters, you can tell me something. Tell me what it is that Global Studios are so intent on hiding. Tell me about this accident five years ago. Okay. Well, I can tell you what I've heard. I was like 13 five years ago, so... Apparently, five years ago, someone died. And it was Hammer's fault. Ugh. Someone died? It was an accident, of course. The producer, Miss Vasquez, managed to hush it up. But it was an accident, right? Why didn't they just make it public? They were afraid about what would happen to his career if word got out. You know who knows more about this? Miss Oldbag. Oh, no. She was here at the studio back then, you know. I wanted to ask you about what happened five years ago. <laughs> who told? Who did you hear that from? Nichols! Uh, anyway, we heard about the accident. Whipper snappers! Trudging up dirt on someone's past like that! And the recently departed, no less. N no, I'm just doing my job to protect Powers. And you claim that Hammer stole Powers' costume. You expect me to believe that rubbish? Or do you have some kind of proof? I can prove that Mr. Hammer stole Mr. Powers' costume. Mr. Powers ate a T-bone steak for lunch, correct? What? Well, uh, yes. So? This is the plate that he used to eat the steak. There are traces of sleeping pill powder on the pill plate. I, I bet Powers put it in there himself. This bottle contained sleeping pills. Mr. Hammer's fingerprints were found on the bottle. I see. Poor, poor Hammer. You did wrong, Hammer. Rest your soul. Okay, you win. I'll talk. I'm tired, see? Tired of holding it all in. Five years ago, there was an accident. A fatal accident. What's worse, a paparazzi took a photo of it. That photo? Well... It caused quite a stir. And guess who made it all better? Vasquez. She has ties to the Mafia. Oh. She silenced that paparazzi. Oh. That was the beginning. After that, she became a force to be reckoned with here at the studio. Poor old Hammer never meant any harm to anyone. Here, take this. Oh. Oof. <laughs> Wait a second. They were playing tennis? Near Spikes? This is the picture. Hammer was supposed to fight with a bad guy on the top of those stairs there. With a tennis racket. What kind of movie was this? He pushed the other actor and the man fell onto the flower box fence. What kind of angle was this? And who designed those spikes? Hey, Nick. It's Miss Vasquez. Hello? Hello? H-E-L-L-O! I'm watching the clouds. Um, excuse me? Mr. Hammer came here the day of the murder and... Shh. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I'm watching the clouds. I'm not interested in talking to you. Do something, Nick. Just really taking me off. Okay, fine. You don't want to talk? What do you say about this photo? Where did you get that? I, well, old bag. 
Miss Vasquez, you hid this incident from the press, didn't you? And you used it to control Mr. Hammer. The wind. It's gotten stronger, don't you think? The wind. Let's talk about it more. Inside the trailer, where no one's watching. Oh, no. Nick, she went inside the trailer. I guess we're going inside the trailer. I'm sure nothing will, is wrong with talking to a lady with mafia connections inside a quiet trailer that's away from everything else. Yeah, totally not. Huh. You came. Well then, what was that you were talking about? You were using that accident. You were blackmailing Mr. Hammer so you could control him, weren't you? That's why he was doing kid shows for petty change. So I'm a blackmailer now. Well, that's what it was, wasn't it? I, I mean, I'm sure it was an accident. But you used it to drag Mr. Hammer down from his rightful place to start. I haven't pulled anyone down from anywhere. Mr. Hammer's career went sour of its own accur accord. You were the cause. You pressured him. Excuse me. What is this all about? You keep saying accident. Accident. How are you so sure? What do you mean? Must I spell everything out for you? Think. What would it be if it wasn't an accident? No. No way. You mean Mr. Hammer did it? On purpose? That is what I mean. Would he have let me run his life for five years? Over a mere accident. And I ran him hard, believe you me. But the security lady said it was an accident. Oh. Well, she was a big fan of hammers, you see. She jumped on the reporter who brought that photo into the studio. She wrenched it out of his hands, she did. Gave him a few bruises, too. Damn. All the reporter would need is the negatives. He could have made a copy, but he didn't. The only copy of that photo is the one you hold. Give it to me. Now. What? This is valuable evidence. Boys. Oh, shit. Oh. Where'd you all come from? Oh, shit. Um, who are they? Professionals. They're good at erasing various things. What do you think? Would you like to be erased? The trial ends tomorrow. How unfortunate. It's a shame you'll have to miss it. So long, friends. Boys, erase away. No! Oh. Hold it right there! I heard everything, pal! Eve Asquith, you're coming down to the precinct with me now! Huh, not bad. Very well. It appears this contest will be decided tomorrow then. In court. I'll be looking forward to it. Today will be the final day of this trial. Today, I will call on people pres present in Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm, very well. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez. I am a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. I dislike needless banter. If you must pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. I entered the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Hammer's body later, when we all went to Studio 1. That's all. I have a question about uh, one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. What with that monkey's head toppling over. Uh, I, I see. These have bones on it. Hers did not, so maybe present this, I guess. I don't know. What's the worst that can happen? Ha! As I thought. You claim you ate a T-bone steak. But I say you did not. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone had been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will. Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella ate at a table outside the trailer. Yet, there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bare. <sighs> Miss Vasquez, tell me, how can a person eat a T-bone steak? And not leave the bone. I think I know how. You didn't eat any steak during that break. You took your steak and threw it somewhere. Like that incinerator. <sighs> then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? 
Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? She was picking on Salmonella because he deserves it. <laughs> she was meeting with the Steel Samurai. As Miss Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. Ugh. Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating! And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits. You and I. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh yes. The samurai spear. Yes? I am. As you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon? I think you would have a great deal of difficulty using that as a weapon. You see? However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning? The samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. Uh, I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But that is the murder weapon. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through? But someone fixed the spear. Now tell me how it is possible for someone to stab a man who is wearing a thick costume with this through the chest. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. Look at this photo. Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. What is this all about? See the fallen man in this photo. See how the fence post pierced him through the chest. Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again! Mr. Wright, continue! It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Though, whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. Oh, ho! -ho! Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you and my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true. Mr. Wright, let's say, for the sake of argument, that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15 minute break? What if she had another way to carry the body, other than with her own hands? For instance, you used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then, before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. <gasps> Hold on, right. Don't forget it was Sal Manila that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manila was a conspirator? Of course! Sal Manila has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. I lose. You win. It was fun. I win? What? <laughs> Wait, so you mean D. Vasquez? So it was you? You killed Jack Hammer. <laughs> what is this? She's been quite smart, I think, actually. Who can say? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits. And the result of that battle, you proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. But that is only a possibility. You lack decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 <laughs> Of course it has to with the sense! Certainly. It all seemed very likely she did it, but, um, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure! I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. I'd like you to testify again. No one to give up, Mr. Wright. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Edward! <laughs> yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. Uh, I see. Very well. <laughs> Your Honor, I requested the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. 
Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? What exactly did you want her to testify about? I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. The witness will testify unto the court concerning this matter. <laughs> I was with Sal and Oldbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too. Only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police. Then Powers showed up. The security lady, Oldbag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying, He did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then I went home. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination? Why would she go back? That's a very good question. The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Wait, what? Why? There was a murder after all. Wait, 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 wait. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Your Honor, I have objection to the witness's last statement. Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearse. She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. <gasps> yeah, she oh, did no. a mistake. She made a slip up. What you have just said is a reasonable observation. Uh, are you thinking of a shot? Can we change the defense? I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. Now, Ms. Vasquez, do you have an explanation? So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense? What kind of court is this? No matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had a perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scene. But Hammer wasn't the one who was injured. You knew that Hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. What? what? Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I already said it was Sal who told me. Th that's right. He must have gotten it wrong. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in the Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Witness, and you refute this claim. Uh, huh. Very well. I have a question for you. Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death. Nothing. Why would you have killed the victim? If there's a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <sighs> With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Bringing us to the present day, Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly, it was a co constant source of shame for the ex star. We are talking about motives here. Yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. So it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. Mr. Wright, please blame Miss Vasquez's motive for murder. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs. In self-defense. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. Then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer to kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. That pipe! Damn. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I'm guilty. Someone call an ambulance! Th there's blood everywhere! We're too late! Oh, uh, Miss Vasquez! What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs! Manuel! Oh, this is back to, this is back to five years ago. Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please try to remain calm. No! No! How could this? It was an accident! Mr. Hammer's doing an action scene and... No! Manuel! Manuel! Don't touch him, Miss Vasquez! No! Please! Please don't die! Please!
Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose. Again. This court finds the defendant, Mr. Willpowers, not guilty. Yay. Fun oh, fact. Look how he's all those, those things, that's Gumshoe doing it. That is all. This court adjourned. And so the curtain of another trial closed. I caused quite a stir by revealing the accent from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Oh my god. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. You have to buy training cards too, okay? We have to train with Cody and that assistant. Fine, fine. I'll do it. Is it great that WP gets to play the lead again? What? <laughs> He's what now? <laughs> I don't know, let's show his real face this time. Probably not. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real world powers. Is he playing the pink princess? Yes. Yes, he is. 